بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله وعلى آله وصحبه ومن والاه. Today we have a little bit some kind of uh, let's say heavy topic, but I believe personally if you share me in focusing to understand this topic, it could be a turning point in your life positively. I will be discussing what we know in Arabic as Mashiatullah, Iradatullah, Hubullah, Ridallah. The will of Allah, the satisfaction of Allah, the love of Allah. But what do I mean by this? Look to this question. We receive questions such as, especially from the youth, Sheikh, does Allah want injustice? Definitely the answer is no. Type. Does injustice happen in reality? Yes. <laughs> Does it happen by the will of Allah? Yes. <laughs> Type. Ya yeah, Sheikh, I'm confused. How come Allah does not want zulm, injustice, or does not want bad things? Yet, He accepts, He permits this to happen and allows this to happen in the universe. To understand this superficially misconception or contradiction, we need to go back to square number one. We need to understand what does it mean Iradatullah or Mashiatullah. Now, according to the ulama, Allah has two types of irada, two types of will. Irada kawniya wa irada shari'iya. Irada kawniya إِنَّمَا أَمْرُهُ إِذَا أَرَادَ شَيْئًا أَنْ يَقُولَ لَهُ كُنْ فَيَكُنْ Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, if he wanted to decree something, he, is, he will say just be and it is. This is irada kawniya. Allah wanted the universe to exist, it existed. Allah wanted you and me to be, we are. <laughs> Allah wanted such and such to happen, it happens. This is irada kawniya. He, he, his will is directed towards something, it happens. This is called irada kawniya. We have irada shari'iya. Allah wants me not to lie. I can lie and I can stop lying. Allah wants me, his irada is directed towards, he's asking me not to make a theft. I can make a theft. Allah wants me not to kill. I can kill. Right. Okay, what happens now? Irada Sharia tells me what Allah wants as a shara. Now, when I want to do something, Allah will allow this to happen as long as I do it with my own will. But Allah is not satisfied. Allah does not like it. What is my delil? Wala yarda li'ibadihi al kufr. Allah does not is not satisfied. He does not want you to be a kafir. But if you decided, God forbid, to be a kafir, he will not stop you and he will not prevent you. He will allow you, he will permit you, and he will hold you accountable. So this is the difference between this and this. To make it simple, it's a little bit philosophical idea. I will give you a, uh, you know, a practical example, just to make it simple. Imagine that I'm a multimillionaire, hopefully, inshallah, okay? <laughs> inshallah, you will help the masjid, inshallah, with millions, <laughs> inshallah. Imagine that I'm a multimillionaire and uh, I have nearly everything I wish and I have my son. So I wanted to train my son on the concept of discipline, of respect, the deal between me and him. I want him to show respect for the covenant between me and him. I'm providing him with everything. He has toys, sweets, candies, everything. However, I and him went to a place where there are a lot of new toys. He's not deprived from toys or something, but now in this place, there are toys. I told him, look, look for just two hours, stay in this place, don't touch any toy. The idea I want to show, does he respect my will or not? With his own will. Now I, to, I make a covenant between, a deal between you and him. If you do not touch any toy for two hours while I'm not here, for example, I will buy the factory of toys for you. <laughs> I'm a multi-billionaire, I have no problem. But if you touched any toy, I will be very angry. 
I will deprive you from playing with toys for full year or you will not play with toys forever. Deal? Deal. Right? Okay? Okay. Salam alaikum. I left. Walillah al-mathal ala. Imagine I left him, but I have full access to him. I have CCTV cameras. I'm behind the wall. I have a mirror or whatever. Just to make it simple. So I'm observing him now. Walillah al-mathal ala. So he's thinking now. Shall I touch it? Don't be thinking. Okay. You know, respect. My, my father told me. Okay, I have toys. I will play after two hours. God, my dad will buy the factory of toys for me. Yes, no. So he has now the clash of interest between his own desire compared with the respect of my... What? Covenant. My will, my covenant. Ah, uh -huh. now. Yes, no. So he is now, he, he has a full willpower to take a decision. If, God forbid, he decided to put my covenant down and to touch it, can I stop him? I'm next to him. I can stop it. Khalas, we'll stop it. I can just open the door and stop it. I can stop it. I did not. But maybe I'm crying because he failed in the test. <laughs> and I will punish him. <laughs> Look, he's doing under my supervision. But there is a covenant, he has a willpower, he knows why I'm doing this. We are all aware, I can stop him, but I did not. But there is a deal, there is a covenant. He will do it under my supervision, yes. I will allow it, yes. I will permit this to happen, yes. This is iradatullah, mashiatullah. Yes, Allah willed. Allah, Allah accepted me to do this, but he's not satisfied. That's what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allahu yuhibbu, Allahu la yuhibbu. Ah? Allahu la yuhibbu zalimin. Allah does not love the, the, the transgressors. But he will allow them if they insisted to do injustice. But Jahannam is waiting. <laughs> so as not to be confused. Of where is the will of Allah? How come Allah? This is very, very simple. And one of the great examples that can help. And I will finish my talk with this. Sheikh Ali Tantawi. And really I urge you. I always keep repeating this. Sheikh Ali Tantawi, may Allah descend his mercy upon him. He has a great, one of the greatest books in Islam, in my opinion. Ta'rif Aam Bideen al-Islam. General Introduction to Islam by Sheikh Ali Tantawi. Sheikh Ali Tantawi, the Syrian one. Okay? He passed away in 1999. He was born in 1909. He lived 90 years. He composed many books. One of his greatest books is Ta'rif Aam Bideen al-Islam. It's for free on the internet PDF. General Introduction to Islam. In chapter four of his book, he wrote a simple example about the will of Allah, the free will of the human beings and the will of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. This example, he said, imagine yourself driving a car on a highway. This highway, let's say, has four, line, four lanes or five lanes. The car was not manufactured myself. I was given the car. So I did not create the car. I have the car. Now, the car has limitations, okay, which is the car cannot fly, the car cannot swim, the car is not prepared for off-road. However, the car, it's well equipped to walk on the five lanes on the highway with different speeds, and I'm controlling steering, the pedal, the gas, the brake, the indicators, and I can have high speed, low speed and I can misuse the car by having sudden brakes. I can annoy the people around me, but I can't fly. I'm limited. I can't go off road. I'm limited. I can't go to the sea. I'm limited. I did not create the car. I'm limited, but I can follow the rules. Left lane up to let's say 150. If you are in the middle lane, no more than 100. If you are in the right lane, no more than 80. For example, I'm following the rule. This is this is where I can maneuver. This is the free will of the human being within the big will of restriction of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Full control, yes. Allah knows what we are doing. Imagine if every single second of driving, there is a camera that's watching your senses, your feelings, your talks, your walks, everything, and you will be held accountable. So this is our free will. In this, you have a will, yes. When you take a will, you will hand accountable and Allah will approve your will, will allow you to do your will and he will have a will after your will and he will hold accountable. I hope 
I know it's a little bit tough topic, but I think when you understand it, you will feel happy, inshallah. This will solve a lot of troubles and questions that might come to your mind. Jazakumullah khair. Thank you very much. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.